Hey guys, I'm getting ready for my first ever jerk quick fire challenge at the Jerk Festival in St. Albans, Queens. I'm gonna be going head to head with a colleague of mine, Rochelle Boone. Basically what they do is they give you a basket of ingredients, seasonings, everything you need to put together this dish. I don't know what it is. She doesn't know either. It's a complete surprise and we're being judged and whoever wins gets a trophy well i hope i get that trophy you know i know i'm gonna get that trophy what um the interesting thing though is that i recently became plant-based it's been over a year and it's been a gradual process cutting out certain things and everything so you know they know that and um i don't know what the dish is i don't know if it's gonna have any kind of meat or anything but I'm hoping there's a lot of veggies that I can add some nice seasonings to because I think you can jerk just about anything. Vegetables, um, tofu, seitan, it doesn't necessarily have to be meat. So either way, I am excited about this and we'll see who wins. All right, so we're in route on our way to the festival. This is Dane, Hello, everyone. my new friend. So tell me about this jerk ice cream. Yes, yeah, so a couple years ago, somebody developed uh, jerk ice cream and it actually tastes good um, <laughs> towards the end of the the ice cream going down you get the jerk seasoning Ooh. in the flavor of it so I think it's something good to look out for and try I, I can't I can't put my finger on what jerk or even my taste buds on what jerk ice cream and ta will taste like but that I, and I don't do dairy but I'll actually take a little taste to see what it's like that sounds so interesting what else jerk you know jerk jackfruit i said i wanted to try i hope yeah. they have that i know they're gonna have jerk chicken jerk fish yep. jerk, jerk shrimp oh jerk shrimp and, and for the heavy eat meat eat, uh meat eaters you have jerk pork Ooh. oh piss up <laughs> this is actually video, video. Oh, oh. <laughs> big up yourself we're in the building <laughs> I am looking forward to your competition. Oh, me too. I don't know if you're gonna kick ass or not, but we're looking forward to it. I'm hoping I do. I think I am. I got Stacey, this. Stacy, I go win. There are people like a salt of them food. Stacy, I go win. We're waiting for you for show. is just about to get on the way we're waiting for Rochelle just saying <laughs> she's probably doing some last minute preparations on our own anyway it's gonna get started can't wait to see her uh, this should be fun it's a great event I've been here for like I don't know, maybe almost an hour and the place is just packing up as we speak they expect like 20,000 people to show up so it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, right now there's a chef cooking I think he's making some kind of jerk I want to say fish, I'm not sure, but it looks delicious. <laughs> Fashionably late, look at this, and look what she have on. Look what she have on. Okay, Rochelle, Miss Tranche. Oh, these are the babies. Oh my gosh. They are so cute. When you're not up yourself, no friendship allowed. So you must cook like you're going to cut off our head, and you must cook like you go execute her immediately. There's no friendship allowed. Yes. Yes. So you ready? Yeah. You know, all that good stuff. But we threw in a little something, something today. So in the basket, we have salmon, chocho, pumpkin, eggplant, and there should be another package in the. No? All right. Things are not going to go very well if you hold up a chocho and you ask if this is okra. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. But it could be an honest mistake. We will let that slide. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. So, in, hold on. Don't start cooking. This is garden egg. Yes, we can call it that. Yes. Don't cut, don't cut nothing yet. And there's another little package. You have to, did you open that? It's biscuit. Well, it's a, yes, it's called, it's an anet, anet, an, anet cookie. Yes. And it said flavored cookie. All right, here are the rules. 
This is the Grace Jamaican Jerk Festival. Welcome everybody for the seventh edition under the tenth year. This is the Culinary Pavilion, and we have one of these in DC and Florida as well. The rules: you must, and I repeat, you must use jerk seasoning. Whether it's a jerk piece or the dry jerk, you must use jerk seasoning. Why I say that? We have had contestants that have been up here and um, they have sort of forgotten that jerk season and they have been disqualified because we have limited kind of space and you know sound our friend at the work the workplace but I can just share like a little thing you know and if you're thirsty we have like a water for you good all right so we can put the, the, the pots back on the heat yes there you go all right so just to let you know what what uh, we have we have some coconut milk. All right, so contestants, while Chef Patrick, hello darling, how are you? Yes, and please tell the lovely people that who you is, but who the hairstyle is. Shock you, baby. Yeah, we are telling you, baby. Hi, go on, go on, right now, right now. Sherry Lafari, State Committee, 29th Assembly District, past winner of the cook off challenge. So I'm excited to taste the dishes uh, this afternoon. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. It is called the Yemen Jerk Salmon. Zin? All right, Miss Rochelle, where your where your where your dish name? I want to mash up the place. <laughs> you know what I know? Mash up the place. All right, Chef. You, you have a fork. You have your fork. Would you like some water? Yes. Yes. Can we have two bottles of water, please, just so they can rinse their palate? All right. Patrick, you're nervous? Yes. Yeah, because if you disqualify one of them, they're going to see you because you live in New York. Me don't live in New York. Without mentioning the name. Without even mentioning the name, guys. Oh, <laughs> thank you, guys. All right, first thing, I got to commend these lovely ladies. They did a wonderful job, so give them a round of applause. Great job. Both of these dishes look super good. And I love both of them, but as judges, it's always, in, in, even in life, there's a winner, and you just gotta keep going on. I'm not even gonna say there's a loser, but we have to select one dish. And both dish have their own thing going for them, but also there's one dish that actually stands out a little bit different from the other. Does anyone have an idea? No one have an idea. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reveal anything different about both dish I'm just gonna tell you which one of the dish for us the judges as to what we judge for and after we announce the winner I'm gonna tell you how we eventually came to that as the winning dish now we're gonna do it now oh my god but if I do that I'm gonna eventually okay okay this dish tastes real good because it have a lot of flavor and a lot of a lot of thing going for it, especially the veg. The vegetable is very flavorful. Same thing with this dish. It have a lot of flavor and a lot of things going for it. The dish is very flavorful, especially the veg. So both dish kind of have the same thing going for them, but there's something different about one of the dish. Oh, so you can tell that to them. All right. <laughs> She's going to tell them. All right. Miss Rochelle, to my right. To my right. Miss Stacy. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, now stand next to Rochelle. Right here. There you go. Come up. Because it was war oh, no, it was worry. Yes. Come on, say with his good friend. Okay. On a, on a love each other. So when we go work tomorrow, yeah, touch, touch the trophy. Touch it. Okay. Touch the trophy. Love the trophy. That's what we love And now let me announce. Well, yes, it will have a yes, it will have a home in NY1, right? Yes. All right, touch it some more. All right, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell the winner for, for, for keep them hand on there. No, that's how we're going to do it. So the winner for 2018, the Grace Jamaica Jerk Festival Celebrity Quick Fire Challenge is... Uh, 
Miss Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> you see how it go? She won a TV trophy. Ladies, thank you very much. Thank you for competing. Awesome. Okay, so I didn't win. <laughs> but it's all good. It was all in fun. I really wanted that trophy. <laughs> no, seriously, that was a nice trophy. And Rochelle, she did a good job. And if I'm going to lose to anybody, I'd rather lose to her. Seriously. What does that even mean? It means that she's good. She's so good, I'd rather lose to her because I know she's good. You want to lose to somebody who's good. That's what that means. Mommy. Well, you don't lose at all because losing is not. Well, I was looking <laughs> at the saying. camera. Yours, yours and hers look exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, they said it was a sauce. They said it was all my sauce was too much. Anyway. That was a good one. This is a new edition.